it's Haley, and on today's video, we're going to be um, doing what we normally do, step on the truck, um, and for those who don't know, I have crappy headlights, so in today's video, we are going to be reviewing this. It is the Armor All head shield, head shield, headlight restore thing, and they're wipes. Do I believe in it? Not quite really, because I'm, I'm used to the restoring kits where you have to have, like, you know, the drill and then the different pads and whatnot so we're gonna try this see how they work i will do it before and then after and we'll get this going um i can't see out of my headlights they're a bit oxidized and gross so without further ado let's get into this and see if this works so let's go i don't know if it's gonna show up good on camera um that on the outside, I think, yeah. But this part's clear. You hear that? This part's gonna be a lot clearer because um, they were a lot newer and they got put on here because I didn't have these at first. So, but this is yellower than this. You can kind of tell from this is a lot more foggier than this one. So we might go off of that. If not, then we're gonna do this one and then go and look at the other one and get that one. So let's get started and see how we do this. All right, this is the directions. It says step one, oxidation removal. Avoid contact with paint surfaces. So don't get it on the paint itself. Um, let's see, ensure headlight is clean and dry. So we gotta clean them. Um, let's see, open and clean oxidation pouch, remove, wipe. All right, this shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. All right, this isn't in English, this is. So without further ado, let's get into this. When you open the box, um, overlook the massive amount of stuff on my hood, it's because I'm underneath the tree. You get four cleaning oxidation removal wipes. You get four step ones, and then you get a UV sealant protectant, and you get two. So I'm guessing it's for whenever you do the passes, and then you do this at the very end. So let's get into this. All right, step one says the ensure headlights is clean and dry. So I have this. It's a concoction. I have uh, basically more rubbing alcohol than anything, which will help clean it. And then a micro microfabric towel. So we're just going to... Spray her down. We'll even spray this one down. Get them good. Get this. And we're just gonna wipe it down really good. Make sure they're good and dry. I think I got them. I'm making sure everything's good and off of it because you got to make sure they're clean and dry. So, all right. All right, step two open one of the cleaning oxidation removal pouches and remove wipe. Keep wipe folded. Okay, so one of these. And we have to, it says, scrub headlight for step three. Scrub headlight firmly, even pressure, and horizontal back and forth, almost it's side to side, back and forth uh, motions to keep notice oxidation before removing. Okay, so that shouldn't be too hard. So we'll do that. And then it says after, move this over here. After we do that, we then have to... Let's see, what's the last one I read? Three, so then four, it says, turn the wipe on the clean side and keep wipe folded. Continue wipe clean until the section is needed until reduce visited wipe, discard wipe, and then it's to open the second one. So you do have to use two wipes per headlight. That makes sense now, because then you get the step two for, so it should be the two for the first, for one, and then the second one your step two for the other one so that makes perfect sense now that's what i was kind of thinking for that and then that and then it says let me see uh open a second cleaning ox oxidation uh, removal pouch continue wiping back and forth with firm pressure for two minutes 
And it says, note, uh, through your headlight may appear clear. Additional deep cleaning is necessary to ensure oxidation is removed. Repeat one to six in other headlights. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, so this isn't too hard. All right, so let's get started on that. So we have to first open one pouch. Ooh, it almost fell. So open one pouch and start with that and then go from there. So I'm gonna go get something to put you guys up on and we will get started and get this first one open and get it going and get everything going good. That's rubbing alcohol. <laughs> it's leaking, but let's get started. All right, so here's the headlight. I don't know if this is quite a good angle for you guys, but I figured it was the best. So if it's not, just let me know. Um, but here's the headlight. Here's step one. Um, it says to open it. Got it open. And it says to keep it folded. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so here it is. It's blue. Um, Alright, I'm just going to open it up though, even though it tells me not to. Because I'm going to fold it a certain way so that we can keep it folded. And then we got to keep careful that we don't touch the paint, it said. So. Whoa, look at all of that. I know I'm kind of touching paint, which is okay in my, my instance. Because I'm about to have to get new paint anyways here soon so whoa look at all that guys look look at all of that you know i was kind of skeptical over this stuff so like i didn't firmly believe in it but look how that i am impressed so far i am not complaining whatsoever Okay, so now that we got this, we're going to have to fold it over again. So I'm going to open it up, fold it over again, and keep it folded small like I did. Just so we don't get on paint, even though I'm okay with getting on paint. Because for me, it's different. We're even going to go over this one, just because. And I'm so shook on how it, like, it turns out. Yeah, see, I'm guessing that, that darker one right here is the paint. But... That's okay, so we're gonna fold it over again and get up in here, and we're just gonna keep going. Gonna keep wiping her down, and then I might do a little time lapse of me wiping them down so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing, but I might not, I might, I don't know. Depends on whatever you guys are up for. But we're gonna keep wiping this down. Instead of going in back and forth motions, so then I'm gonna go up and up and down motions and then go back. Okay. And after opening and wiping and scrubbing, I'm guessing I have to return to phone and continue and then open the second one. And then after I open the second one, the second one is to be done for two whole minutes. So I might continue with this one just for a bit longer. Because like I don't mind it. At least to go right back a one more pass over all of it, you know. Make sure I got all of this. Got all up in here. I don't even care if I'm getting on the paint, to be honest with you guys. Like, I, like I've been saying, it's fine. All right, so this one, we're gonna take it, we're gonna fold it, and we're gonna stick it right back into this one. Other car coming, so if you can't hear me, that's why. It's my uncle. <laughs> And we are now going to open the second one for two minutes. So, here's the second one. We're going to keep this one folded. And we're at four minutes so far. And then I'm going to do this until it hits six. Because that'll make it, that'll, that'll be an additional, a whole additional um, two minutes. So.
on a step two. And it says for step two, <clears throat> excuse me, we have to uh, open it and then do this one for also for two minutes. So, this one's so tiny. Okay, so here's this one, and here we go. That's all we have to do to be honest with you guys because then this is the next step is to repeat one through six um okay no i see now it says here that uh for the ensure uh, surface is dry apply sealant so it was dry when we applied the sealant because it was already dry and then it's for best results for the first flight a lint free towel um for the thing we have to wait I'm trying to look and see. Let's say if it's completely dry. After we put this on, it says don't touch or anything for about three hours. So after I finish the other one, I'm going to show you guys. We're going to wait for three hours. It's currently 12, so I'll be back around three. For you guys, to be in like three seconds. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do the other one with this. So without further ado, you guys, let's wait three hours and see what this thing does. And if it is worth 10 bucks. Or should I just go ahead and get another $60 pair of headlights? So without further ado, let's get to the second one. the passenger side one now that I am done and then over here is the driver's side one I just completed I'll be back in three hours when it is all done when it is all done and I am back you will see the results on if this step is a fail or not so without further ado I will see you guys in three hours but in your time in the video three seconds so see you in the next clip all right guys it's been three hours with the armor all headlight restore wipes and we're gonna see how they how they did my opinion i think they did pretty good but we're gonna do a before and after and see how they are so you guys saw the before and then this is the after so without further ado let's see these headlights 
I think overall these did really good. Like you can see it. It looks really good. Of course, like I said, these over here on this side, those are those are new because we had to get those. But there's that. And then let me show you guys that. Looks really good, Yasmin. Like I'm not complaining at all. So do I think this stuff is worth the ten bucks? No, honestly, I think it is worth every penny. It's ten bucks at Walmart. Um. You guys saw how I did it. It didn't cost me hardly no time or money. Um, I fully support some of the Amaral stuff since that's all I ever washed the truck in. And it's not done me no harm. Like the truck still does good. Nothing's affected the paint wise. Nothing's, you know, left little stuff. So and overall, you guys should go get this. This stuff really works. Um, I will keep you guys updated in about I'm gonna say maybe another week or two. Make sure um, that they're still clear. Now, if they fog over, then maybe this stuff may be the type of stuff that you might wanna you might wanna not use if you're looking for a long-term thing. But we're about to find out. So I'll keep you guys updated in the next two weeks. See how this stuff does. I hope you guys enjoy this little video over this. Um, without further ado. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Love you guys. Bye.